everybody, it's Carrie with Be That Handmade Artist and Jewelry. Today I'm going to do a resin video for you. I'm going to do a video on how I make my definition pendants. No worries, no dictionaries were harmed during the process. All it is is photo paper set under resin. Could be a picture of anything you take. Dictionaries, pets, anything. So I'm using art resin today. It's a great product I've started using for a while now. Um, and so we're going to um, see I've got my initial piece here, um, photo paper that I have punched out. And I've already mixed up a very small batch of art resin because of course I'm a small batch kind of girl with that. Let it sit and you can see not a lot of bubbles which is so wonderful. And when you're doing these small form things, and it's about an inch by an inch, your pour needs to be very slow. And give it time to spread out over the photo, photo paper, well I can't talk today, um, so that it domes and actually creates that magnification to make it look like it's popping off the paper. So slow and easy. We'll swirl to work it around a bit. Then I'm using a makeup spatula for my stirring and scraping. It's a great small size. And I'm just going to gently work the art resin out towards the edges. You can see it's got really great clarity. And on this white paper, there really is no color change, which is huge. I've worked with other resins, which you can see that it, it, it's just ever so slightly tinted. And an art resin, it's crystal clear, great clarity. And we're just working the art resin all the way around. And I don't want to pour any more on, so I'm actually going to dip my spatula in. Actually, my resin has sat for a little bit, so it's a little thick, but still not bad at all. And in fact, it's probably sat for a good 20 minutes, and most resins by now would have hardened to the point where you couldn't work with it, whereas art resin, it's got a great long working time. So I'm just edging that resin off to the edges getting that surface tension all the way to the edge of the paper. All the way, and I think it's there. You'll see there's a couple bubbles that popped up. You can try to poke at them and get them out, or you bring out the torch. And I just use a kitchen torch and lightly go over the top. And you can see, I see one little bubble, or maybe a fuzz that's in there. It'll just lift out, and there we go. So now it's time to put my dust cover on to let it sit. My assistant needs to hand me my dust cover. And while he's doing that, I'm going to show you. So this is a picture I actually poured. So you see wonderfully clear, no bubbles. Once that side is cured 24 hours, I flip them over, set them down, and then I take art resin and tint it. I use black and same process, pouring on that other side, letting it go all the way. Beautiful clarity, glossy finish. And then to turn it into a pendant, you just drill a hole in the top, put a jump ring in it, and <clears throat> have something to wear that's beautiful and uniquely your own. So I hope I've given you a little inspiration for a new resin project. Enjoy. Have a great day.